Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for coming to my talk. So uh, I came from Dhaka, Bangladesh, and you can see the spelling of my name. And I'm also trying to build my own brand that's called Brutal WP. You can just Google it and find out all my social media contacts. So if you have any question, because it's a lightning talk, so I ha do not have time enough to uh, have questions. So. Uh, we usually have a misconception that you need to know how to code uh, to use WordPress or to work in the WordPress industry. And people think that you need to have a computer science degree to understand what a software is or how to work on it. But usually, even if you are doing computer science engineering, you might not, give very, uh, might not get very good grades at it. And you think that uh, I cannot build a good career in the software industry, so which is not correct. And uh, from last 10 years, I have worked all kinds of uh, non-technical options or departments in WordPress plugin or theme companies. Uh, namely, I have worked with WeDevs or Themium. You might have uh, heard the names of these guys. So I started my career with customer service. And you can see that to work in customer service, the first skill you need is patience, details, and problem solving, which is possible for anyone to learn or focus on or train themselves to be perfect on. And this is a very nice opportunity to know about the industry, know about the products, know about the company that you are actually working on or the market niche you are wor working on. And you can just build up or train yourself inside the job. So you can just learn every day, improve yourself. So this is a great first starting point for anyone. Even if you are an English literature graduate or studying Korean literature, anything, it can be anything, and you can work in customer service. And I've seen even uh, people holding PhD in English literature working in different companies. So it doesn't matter what educational qualifications you have. You just need to be a great person or a very welcoming person, very open person to work in customer service. Because we face many different kind of people in customer service coming with very wide range of ideas, asking that if I can integrate this thing with that thing. So you can just look up things and talk with a couple of your colleagues and help that person understand that what's possible and what's not. The next thing we can work is on writing different kind of stuff. So some people call it technical writing. Some people call it creative writing. Some people call it uh, copywriting. So it can be many different things. But in general, it's writing. And if you are a creative person, you can write about landing pages or product pitches or prepare different kind of video scripts. If you're a technical person, understand how to integrate things, how to use Zapier, how to integrate APIs, then you can work on technical documentations as well. So Writing has a very vast range of possibilities, so you can focus on anywhere or any place you are interested in. And most of the companies are hiring these days for all kinds of roles. So smaller companies might want to have a person who has different set of skills, who can work in creative writing, who can work for video scripts, who can work for a technical documentation. Or you can join a big company where you will be just focusing on the landing page copies only, or the email copies only, or uh, working on their magazines or email uh, marketing campaigns only. The next thing you can do is committee management. This is more about working with people directly, understanding people directly, or having an active community where people will feel very enthusiastic about your products or about your company. I personally is a very big believer of non-paid marketing and not using Google AdWords or spending money to promote your product because WordPress itself is a community-driven product and it uh, thrives with the community where they do not spend any money directly to let people use that product or market that product. We are the advocates of WordPress. We do the advocacy and promote WordPress to other people, recommend other people to use WordPress. I myself used to be a Joomla theme developer back in 2011. But some of my community members in Bangladesh, we are very close. So uh, they suggested that you should move to WordPress. It has a larger market share. And also, the resources are very vast. And the options and tools are very easy to use. So that is how I got involved with the WordPress community. And even later, I think that uh, if WordPress can do it, then the companies can also do it and make product advocates who would market the products directly. Because word of mouth means a lot. If you spend $10,000 and instead one single person is uh, recommending your product to someone personally, he is going to, or he or she is going to have more impact than that 
advertisement that is using 10,000 US dollars. Word of mouth means a lot. So uh, even if you're studying marketing, you will see that even your faculty members were uh, in colleges or universities are also recommending that use word of mouth as much as possible. So uh, the next thing we can uh, think about is content marketing. I have usually talked about uh, the writing stuff, but content does not only mean text. It can be images, it can be videos, it can be GIF images, it could be animations, it could be any sort of thing. Even it can be offline. Even my talk, this, uh, this talk you are hearing, this is also a content, sort of content that you are consuming directly in real life, and it would be converted into uh, digital content later, so which you can consume online. So different kind of content marketing exists these days. People are making white papers and different kind of infographics with graphic designers, and you also need to uh, do certain type of researches and arrange things, how you are going to explain those. So you can also consider content marketing if you think that uh, you are very good with communicating with people and with different forms of data and different forms of presentation as much as possible. The next thing is uh, something that I like very less, digital advertising. Advertising itself gets very boring or sometimes you're just blowing your own horn. So you're just saying that I'm good, I'm better, my product is good, my product is better, but still you can uh, use subtle ideas to uh, make some funny type of content. If you look at the advertisements of Chenrite, that's a Thai product, I guess, and they have very hilarious advertisements about their insect killers. So killing insects is something uh, some of might consider unethical, but when you are struggling with them, then you might need some kind of pest control. So that could be a very good example of uh, advertising in digital media because so in social media people are uh, very bored easily and they look for interesting content. So you can always make something that is funny, that is something humorous and it can help you a lot. The next thing, it's a bit complicated thing and some of the companies uh, want some kind of certification in UX design and understanding of how a product works properly, how the programmers work properly. So if you are from development uh, background and you want to switch to something better, bigger, or want to work in the mid-management, product management could be a very good thing. Even if you're a designer, you can switch your career to product management. It's a very important thing because you will be owning that product as a product manager and you will be helping the entire team, including your CEO, to get the vision out of you and think how the market could get more benefit from uh, different kind of features and how you can more impact in more people's life. So I consider personally that this is a very huge responsibility and this is where you can show that you, what you can do. The next thing is project management, uh, very old stuff, like you already know Scrum, different kind of project management methodology, Agile. It is a very talked about thing, and if you just Google different kind of project management certification, you can find more details about it. So I'll not go into very depth, but if you're more like a corporate person and prefer desk jobs and very good with planning and very good with uh, helping people accomplish things in timely manner, then project management could be a very good option for you. Another thing is partnership management. So if your people skills are great and you like talking to people and getting to know about many different solutions and helping them understand what your solution do and how you can collaborate, partnership management could be a very nice thing to do and it could help you travel the world a lot because some of the companies offer you meet people in person and sign up for many different uh, understandings in person. So this could be a very nice option for the youngsters. So usually I don't think uh, we have time for questions. So if you have any questions, just meet me in person, I'll be here. Thank you so much for your time.